Dallas Danger here. I've got the mystery man along with the Southern States heavyweight champion. That's Murphy Cossigan. And of course, the progressive liberal Dan Richards. And we are getting Daniel ready. Richards. Excuse me, Daniel Richards. And by the way, real quick correction, Dallas. It's been a while since you saw me last, but it's Lord Murphy Cossigan now. So I would appreciate it if you redo the introduction correctly this time. We have names. We've earned them. I stand corrected. Lord Murphy Costigan and the progressive liberal Daniel Richards. And Mr. Richards, we've seen you barred from the building, and, and now we understand you have obtained a manager's license, so you, you, you are, you're going to be a ringside for the championship affair between Mr. Costigan and Wayne Moxie. But I have talked to senior official Jake Booth, and I have been informed that your mystery man will not be allowed at ringside. He does not have that same license that you have obtained. Excuse me, but I, I'd like to... If Jake Booth was here right now, I would claim an executive order and tell him to reverse that decision. That is not fair. I'm tired of being treated unfairly in these Appalachian mountains. That, that hurts a little. Murphy, I've known you a long time. You've got this title. It seems like every time somebody gets close to, to defeating you, you come up with a new trick to pull out of your bag. So what, what do you've got in mind facing, again, Wayne Moxie? As if I would tell you what I have up my sleeve. You talk about how I always seem to come ahead. It's because I'm a very smart man, Dallas Danger. We are very smart men. Very smart men. The best generals always have contingency plans. Always. And Wayne Atkins met our contingency plan. So Wayne Moxie, I've already beaten you once already. But you want to go with me again, you wee little clite? That's just fine. I'll put you down like I did before. The story will remain the same. And still, Southern States Wrestling heavyweight champion, Lord Murphy Costigan. You are a clipe, Wayne Atkins. A clipe. So is Wayne Moxie. Both of them are clipes. A pair of clipes they are. We'll call them the clipe pack. Hello, wrestling fans. Joe Wheeler here in the dressing room with Wayne Moxie. And today is the day you've got your shot at the heavyweight championship. And I know you've been training a lot with Dr. Tom Pritchard. He's been teaching you a lot of things. And uh, some of which he wouldn't let the cameras be there for. And uh, I know Bo James has also been present at some of the trainings as well. What can you tell me? What's on your, what's on your mind going into this match? Well, first of all, yeah, I was down at Dr. Tom's school in Knoxville, Tennessee, JPWA. He showed me a few counters to the knee that Murphy Costigan put me away with in the last match that we had. And he showed me a few counters to the heart punch that Murphy Costigan has put other people away with. And I can't confirm nor deny Bone James was there. But all I can say is today, I keep on weaving the dream and I become the Southern States Wrestling Champion. There you have it. You sound very confident going into this match and you seem very focused. Yes, sir. Thank you. There you have it, wrestling fans. We'll see what happens right here today. You've heard from the competitors in our main event today. Heavyweight champion Murphy Costigan defends against the dream weaver Wayne Moxie, and we're going to give them all kinds of time here to settle the score today on Southern States Wrestling Legacy. Hello again, everybody. Bo James here with a big episode. And before we get to that very important title match, I want to bring you up to date on Saturday night, February the 18th, 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee, our 32nd anniversary spectacular it is going to be a huge night of action it's going to be a night full of surprises it's going to be a night for hall of fame we've told you the last couple of weeks about people going in the hall of fame my mom and dad are going in there for all of their work and promoting wrestling and getting this promotion up off the ground and getting it started we also told you last week about the greatest team in the history of southern states wrestling eight times southern states tag team champions i'm talking about ruthless roger anderson Frank the Tank Parker, better known as Death and Destruction, they are going to return and be in the ring together in Kingsport for the first time in 22 years. Last week I said 21. Hey, I got caught up. I was thinking that we were still in 2022, but we're in the new year. We are kicking off the 32nd year of this promotion in a gigantic way. Also going in the Hall of Fame that night, we told you last week about him, the greatest manager in the history of this promotion. I'm talking about Al Getz, the Duke of New York, going to be returning to Kingsport for the first time in two decades. It's going to be a night 
where we honor our past. It's going to be a night full of surprises. It's going to be a night full of big matches. I'm going to be telling you about some matches here just in a minute. I also want to tell you about a Hall of Fame, and I'm talking about you could not have a Hall of Fame in the state of Tennessee without this man's name or without this man being in it or a family member of his, Roy Welch, the man that created professional wrestling in the state of Tennessee, put together the first full-time wrestling office out of Dyersburg before it moved to Nashville. He promoted all of Tennessee and all the states surrounding Tennessee. He had the biggest territory for many, many years. 30 of his family members went on to be involved in wrestling as wrestlers, referees, promoters, matchmakers, you name it, they did it. Roy's family is already in the East Tennessee Hall of Fame. In 2003, we put Ron Fuller, Robert Fuller, and Buddy Fuller in there along with Jimmy Golden and Bill Golden. Roy was the grandfather to Ron and Robert, the father to Buddy. He was also Jimmy's grandfather, so it's going to be great to honor him there that night at the 32nd anniversary and there to accept his award. The Tennessee stud Ron Fuller will be in Kingsport making his first appearance in Kingsport since October the 30th, 1988. Bo James, how do you know that date? Because it was the very first live event that I promoted and Ron was in the main event. So I'm looking forward to it. This is kind of a who's your life for me that night as I'm going to <laughs> be looking back at the last 32 years but I'm also going to see so many faces and so many people that are such a special part of my life and I hope that if you were a fan of ours and you were coming regular to the matches in the heydays of Southern States Wrestling that you come out to see them. We're going to have some surprises there for you. We're going to have the Hall of Fame and let's keep on talking about the Hall of Fame. Two new inductees to announce this week. One of them was a Southern States Wrestling original. He was winning this promotion from day one. I'm talking about Scott Sterling. He came along with a young man by the name of Jeff Lovin. They were known as the Young Guns, multiple time tag team champions. Scott also went on to hold the tag titles with Dan Cooley, with Frank the Tank Parker. He is a former Appalachian heavyweight champion, a Tennessee heavyweight champion, a television champion, and Scott is one of my toughest opponents over the years. You remember him and Frank Parker, the ones that broke my back and put me out of action for a long time. So I'm going to get a little worried about having Scott and Frank in the same building back together that night, but I think Scott is well deserved of this award. Along with another one we're getting ready to announce, Miss Rebecca Lynn. Multiple time Southern States Women's Champion. Rebecca, I got to talk to in person at a wrestling match right before Christmas, and I got to give her the news that she had got voted in the Hall of Fame. She's looking forward to being there that night. We're looking forward to honoring these people and honoring their contributions to the sport of professional wrestling and to Southern States Wrestling. Let's tell you about a couple of matches that have already been signed. Past meets the present. Two-time former Southern States heavyweight champion Eric Darkstorm returns to the model city of Kingsport, Tennessee to take on young Marty Clay in what should be an excellent wrestling match. And I'm looking forward to sitting there and watching this one myself. And also, let's talk about a tag match. We told you last week, Roger Anderson, Frank Parker teaming up again for the first time in 22 years in the model city where they're going to be looking across the ring at two men that gave them all kinds of trouble through the past. And I'm talking about myself and Brian Logan, and this will be the first time that Brian and I have tagged in a long, long time. And we all have scores to settle in this match, so we're going to look forward to getting that done at the 32nd Anniversary Spectacular. Now, Two weeks ago, we heard from the ladies' champion, Katie Gannon. She says that she has no competition. She said she shouldn't have to defend her title against the people that we have laid out in front of her to defend the title against. Well, she didn't make up her mind on who to defend the title, so the board of directors made up their mind. Katie Gannon will have to defend the Southern States women's title that night against Nurse Micah. We've got some words from Katie Gannon about Saturday night, February the 18th in Kingsport. Let's take a listen to that right now. I can't believe they're making me wrestle this nurse, Micah. I mean, really, people? She's from West Virginia. She probably smokes cigarettes and lives in a trailer park. And I don't want her little nicotine hands anywhere near this. Okay. 
But really, who does she think she is? She does not stand a chance against this. Not only am I a lot prettier than her, but I'm stronger than her too. <laughs> so, on February 18th, I'm going to do what I do best and dominate her and show her who Katie Oh My Gannon is. <laughs> it's a night over three decades in the making. The Southern States Wrestling 32nd Anniversary Spectacular. Saturday, February the 18th, Farmer's Market Pavilion, 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. This is going to be a historic night. Featuring stars of Southern States Wrestling, past and present, the 2023 East Tennessee Hall of Fame inductions six main event matches, and the return for the first time in 35 years of the Tennessee stud Ron Fuller to the Model City. Tickets on sale now through Eventbrite. Advanced ticket holders allowed into the building early for a special meet and greet. That's the Southern States Wrestling 32nd Anniversary Spectacular. Saturday, February the 18th, Farmers Market Pavilion. 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. Don't you dare miss it. Be there. Ladies and gentlemen, this matchup is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. I would like to first introduce the challenger. He hails from Strawberry Plains, Tennessee. Folks, this should be a tremendous matchup as the uh, heavyweight championship is on the line here as Lord Murphy Costin is taking on Moxley in this one. And uh, should be a great matchup here. Big title defense here in Southern States Wrestling. And uh, I tell you what, should be a great contest as Moxley is very, very fast, very quick competitor. And uh, I think he's going to give... Uh, give the good lord all he can handle in this contest yeah you know and i think as important as as, as we you know we always talk about size weight advantage strength advantage um you know experience advantages things of that nature i was obviously just in the ring to do the formal championship introduction and you can cut the tension with a knife as soon as wayne moxie uh the music hit he walks out he steps up on that apron, and he was locked in on Daniel Richards and Murphy Costigan. So there's no love loss whatsoever. And this one, you know, it, it might start with some feeling out, with some, with some, you know, scientific wrestling. But I think this one eventually is just going to break down to a fight. Wayne Moxie wants revenge, and he wants that title. No doubt about that. And, of course, I did an interview with Mox earlier in the uh, – in the program and uh, we were talking about this match and, and going into it and uh, you know he has been trained by Dr. Tom Pritchard and uh, he's a graduate of his school and you know there's some uh, there's been some special training uh, sessions going on from what I understand and um, so you know don't be surprised it's very possible that, that Moxley could could defeat him right here today uh, for the title so you know this is a it's a lot on the line in this contest. Yeah, and you talk about the, the, the special training, and, 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 you know, it's something that I've spoken to Murphy Costigan about myself, the fact that it seems like every time anyone gets close to figuring out one of his maneuvers or tactics, he pulls another trick out of the bag. You know, we've seen the heart punch lately. That's, that's something that, that he, did, he didn't used to, you know, employ, and, 
and you know the, the knee lifts, the loaded knees, and 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 you know the outside interference. It, you know Wayne Wayne Moxie's got to have a lot on his mind, and I think that's what Dr. Tom Pritchard was trying to help him with. Was you've got to be prepared for a lot of different uh, attacks from Murphy Costigan if you want to become Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. No doubt, and great point there, and. He, he does. He's got a lot to think about, not only just wrestling the matchup itself and trying to capture the title, but we got Daniel Richards here at ringside again. And, uh, you know, he's going to interject himself at any given opportunity to help his buddy win the title. Great show of strength right there in the ring as, as Mox is in back in a, a bridge position and uh, showing he's got a lot of fight in him, but Murphy Coxeton is just wrenching down on that arm, and he's showing him why he's the heavyweight champion right now. Absolutely, and, and you know, again, you, you don't have to like his attitude. You don't have to like the fact that he's he's from Scotland and not from these great Appalachian Mountains, but you can't take anything away from Murphy Costigan. Uh, a, a lot of strength, a lot of poise inside those ropes, but for whatever reason, he, he will do whatever it takes. In, any tactic doesn't matter to him as long as his hand is raised at the, at the end of the matchup. Right. And he great great technique right there. You you know you right as you're alluding to his style and technique, he was able to block a drop toe hold, which you don't see that happen very often. But it, it's all about balance and it's all about agility and, and being able to keep yourself centered. As uh, Moxley now trying to reach around and got him, pulled him into that side headlock position, and is holding on as. Uh, Mox now winding up on that arm. I tell you what, do not underestimate the young man in the green and black because he brings a lot of fight to this match. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a reason he's earned this opportunity, you know, I mean, and it was unfortunate for him to be in the semi, excuse me, semifinals of the championship tournament and, and to, to be eliminated the way that he was at the hands of Murphy Costigan and and, and, and this, this, this small army that is now forming with Daniel Richards and, and, and the mystery man that we saw later on in the tournament. But Wayne Moxie is, is, is you know, he's got, there's a lot to him. You know, he's quick, he's agile, but, you know, he's really invested in himself and he believes, you know, in himself and he's, he's, he's adding weight to his body. He's adding muscle mass. So, you know, Murphy might not be able to just outstrength him the whole way, and, and, and Wayne Moxie's holding his own, you know, pound for pound. Um, can't take anything away from Wayne Moxie. He deserves to be here and have this opportunity. Oh, no doubt. No doubt about that. As uh, they're back into the ropes now, as uh, I doubt we're going to get a clean break here. And Irish Whip got reversed right there. Mox got him out of there. And coming in a whole full head of steam. But Costin was able to get out of the way there and drove him down right there. And you know, that was just the champion showing why he's a champion right there. Fans, we gotta take a quick commercial break. We're back with more Southern States right after this timeout. We live the history, tradition, and memories on the Southern States Wrestling Network. Watch from almost any device, only $4.99 a month. New subscribers, start your free seven-day trial right now. Southern States Wrestling Network .com. The biggest stars, the wildest action, complete events, classic television episodes, all on the Southern States Wrestling Network. It's a night over three decades in the making. The Southern States Wrestling 32nd Anniversary Spectacular. Saturday, February the 18th, Farmer's Market Pavilion, 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. This is going to be a historic night. Featuring stars of Southern States Wrestling, past and present, the 2023 East Tennessee Hall of Fame inductions, six main event matches, and the return for the first time in 35 years of the Tennessee stud Ron Fuller to the Model City. Tickets on sale now through Eventbrite. Advanced ticket holders allowed into the building early for a special meet and greet. That's the Southern States Wrestling 32nd Anniversary Spectacular. Saturday, February the 18th, Farmers Market Pavilion, 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. Don't you dare miss it. Be there. 
Back from commercial break as the uh, heavyweight championship matchup continues here as uh, they have been battling throughout the break. But I tell you what, tremendous matchup it's been since the beginning, and uh, here we go in the end of the second half. Absolutely, you know, right before the we went to break, you know, you saw Wayne Moxie get the upper hand. He he flies into the corner, maybe a little bit of reckless abandon, and it turned out to be a bit of a mistake. And ever since then, Murphy Costigan has capitalized, and he is uh, he's in control, as you see there. Wayne Moxie goes down with a thud once again. Moxley's definitely in trouble, and Coxington is getting cocky here at this point, and the way he's kicking him. And that's, yeah, he's just going to make him mad. That's insulting to do that as um, he's going to make Moxley mad and he might end up regretting it. But uh, for now, the heavyweight champion is definitely in control as he's got him draped across the ropes. And here comes Daniel Richards. I'm looking for him to interject himself here in a moment. But uh, he's behaving himself for the most part. Of course, he knows that senior referee Jake Booth won't put up but with so much and he'll throw him right out of the building. But, man, Moxley just took a hard shot on the back of his head. Yeah, Murphy Costigan is methodical in the way that he, that, that he you know, um, executes his game plan inside the ring. He, he, he can beat you a lot of different ways, you know, he, a lot of different techniques, as we've spoken about already here today on the program. And so, you know, there, there, there's, always, there's always a plan, it seems like, with Murphy Costigan. And there's always a backup plan and a backup to the backup plan. He's listen again. You don't have to like him, but you have to admit he's not an easy guy to get down for the one, two, three. Absolutely, no doubt about that. As oh, Cost just slapped him right across the face there. How insulting! Him and Richards are feeling real good right now, and and surprisingly, Richards has not physically gotten involved in the matchup to this point. But uh, do I expect it? Certainly, at any moment as uh, Richardson is, uh, you know, you got to keep an eye on him. Referee Jake Booth's doing the best he can to keep things in order in there, but, uh, man, Moxley is definitely in trouble on that bottom rope. Yeah, and, you know, Jake Booth, like you said, doing everything he can to keep control here. You know, we heard earlier in the program, no mystery man allowed at ringside, but there's nothing that can be done about Daniel Richards now that he's obtained that manager's license. And as long as he doesn't get caught doing anything, you know, nefarious, he's going to be allowed out here at ringside. And, and it, this, this reign of terror that has started is, is just going to continue, Joe. Reign of terror. That's an appropriate way to sum it up. Deep double arm underhook right there. Beautifully executed by the heavyweight champion Murphy Cox, the tennis. He drops that elbow right into the spine. And, I mean, he drove the point of the elbow into the spine right there. That is the type of thing that can cause some debilitating injury real fast. And now he's staying focused as he's got a reverse chin lock and pulling back on the head. Yeah, no separation, not allowing not allowing Wayne Moxie time to breathe, time to, to get in a better position, uh, an offensive position. You know, again, this is, this is what Murphy Costigan does. He gets in that ring and he smothers his opponents. And that's why, as we alluded to earlier, he is the Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. He is well in control right now. As Mox is trying to fight back here. But uh, to little or no avail at this point, as Murphy Coxington now brings this man back up. Caught him with a big forearm shot there in the corner. Now brings this man across. Irish whip hard into the buckle. And follows it in, but oh, Moxie was able to get out of the way there. This is his moment. This is his time that Moxie's got to pull out something. He's got to put together some sort of offense. Oh, man, and just that quick, it all comes to an end. This matchup means so much. That Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Championship has a storied lineage, and, and you know, it's it's – in the possession of Murphy Costigan now, but what 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 a feather in the cap of Wayne Moxie it would be, you know, early on this early in his career to be a part of Southern States wrestling legacy and to become that champion, you know, and 
and, and be able the next time that we're here at the Farmer's Market Pavilion in Kingsport on February 18th to walk in as champion on the night that we induct into the Hall of Fame and, and we celebrate the history, the legacy, if you will, of Southern States Wrestling. So so I'm not counting Wayne Moxie out. There's a lot left in the tank there, but but he's he's got to, if he finds another opening, he's got to take advantage. No doubt about that. And yeah, fans, uh-oh, looks like he's setting him up here. Oh, my. It looked like he caught him right in the forehead with it. That was. And then he blocks the knee. My goodness, that's what all the training from Dr. Tom Pritchard led to. A reversal to the heart punch, a reversal to the knee lift, and now Wayne Moxie is on fire. This is his time. This is the moment he's got to do this thing and take it home. Big clothesline there into the corner as uh, Moxley has definitely got him in trouble. He's throwing offense at him left and right here. And this is the moment. Big high knee right there. He's in for cover. This could do it. Referee's in and oh, he got a one count. Oh man, so close. Great offense from Moxie, but just not quite enough yet. But he's staying on Costigan. He's going for another cover here. Joe, I still can't believe that, that he was able my near fall there. I can't believe Wayne Moxie was able to block the hard punch and then block the knee lift. I mean, the wherewithal after all the punishment, all the all the offense he's endured from Costigan, and, and now he's in control. This is his moment. Oh, Costigan right there with a headbutt. Looked like a headbutt right to the side of the head. Looked like he may even caught him on the ear there, perhaps. Wayne Moxley got caught right there again as... Murphy Coxington has him, but oh, he reverses it right there and drove him in. This could do it. Referee's in position here. One, two, and three. We may have a new champion, but Daniel Richards has put his foot on the bottom rope. The Jake Boost ringing the bell, though. Oh, my. Oh my, I think Jake realizes what's happened here. By hook or by crook, Daniel Richards finds a way and it looks like Jake Booth is gonna restart the match. Yeah, Jake is signaling, he, he, he's gotta re, we gotta restart it. Oh, man. It's such a hard position Jake's in as a referee here. But he's, he's I guess, doing the right thing. and going to restart the match here. But look out as, as Coxington's setting up here. And he caught him with a heart punch. Don't let it in like this, but it's not looking good. And there you have it, Dallas. Man, I tell you what, that was crazy. What a shame. What an absolute shame. Wayne Moxie had it. He had it. That was his moment. And, and again, Daniel Richards finds a way. Murphy Costigan finds a way. And they are leaving with that prestigious championship belt. <laughs>